What's up YouTube? Been a while since my last video. Pretty busy there. Got me a steersman now, so doing a lot of training. He's off, so got a little time to try the much reviewed Alec Bradley Prensado Churchill. Uh, I've smoked through a box of Prensados, one of my favorite cigars, but those were the uh, Grand Toro. I tried the new Double T and I have a review up on it didn't like it at all it just it was it was you know i wanted to be kind to it because i love alec bradley's and i really enjoy the prince Otto. It was one of my favorite cigars it just i don't know if it had a bad sample but it just wasn't any good well you can watch watch my review on that and kind of see my take on it but uh it just it just had a lot of problems so you know hopefully uh hopefully i just got a bad one but uh this is the first actual churchill prince Otto i've ever smoked so I'm not going to go into details of where it was uh, grown and all that kind of stuff because y'all have been beaten to death with that by this point being that it's a 2011 Cigar Aficionado Cigar of the Year. There's page after page of factoids on it, so I'll, I'll save my breath on that. I'm sure if you're watching this, you're already aware. But uh, I'm going to get her cut, get her lit, get her going. Uh, I'm expecting this to be a, a great stick because... Uh, Every Prince Otto I've ever had, other than the Double T, has been excellent. It's Tobo Trail. All right. So you're back with the uh, Alec Prince Otto. Alec Bradley, excuse me, Alec Prince Otto. Alec Bradley Prince Otto, which is Spanish for press. And I always thought it looked kind of like a football, but actually it's... Uh, supposed to be the, the threads there on a press as you can kind of see uh, Churchill cigar of the year just uh, giving it a little time to heat up uh, pre-draw was a nice uh, like a raisin like a sweet raisin taste really nice it's, it's a really nice cigar. I've, I've had a lot of people uh, online. I just actually got through reading a review from, uh, I ain't going to say the reviewer, but uh, I just put it this way, a guy who lives in Canada who, who normally reviews about 75% Cubans, and he really bashed it pretty hard. But, you know, Cuban schmubin, I've had some nice Cubans, but, uh, you know, they don't make the best cigars anymore, in my opinion. Uh, this is a this is a great cigar, it really is. I really enjoy them. I, upon first light, the taste, I, I noticed the normal Alec Bradley problems that I've had because, like I said, I've smoked through an entire box of Grand Toros. Uh, the way the wrapper is, it's it feels like uh, velvet almost. It's really a beautiful wrapper, but it does have burn problems. Almost every one I've ever had has a soft ash. You're not gonna win any long ash contests with a, a Prince Otto. It also has a crooked burn. Uh, I don't let mine get out of hand. I keep popping the wrapper with the, with the lighter as it goes down, kind of keeping it straight because I've had so many of them. I know that if you do, it's gonna get, it's gonna get way crazy on the burn. But that's uh, that's just the nature of the beast with this stick. But uh, you know, when you know it's coming, it's it's not a big deal. Uh, I don't mind doing that. Sorry about that. Up here in beautiful Winona, Minnesota. It's one of the prettiest locks on the river. Nice lock house. But, uh, I'm gonna get about half of this bad boy smoked down and I'll let you know if there's any changes right now. I'm just getting a lot of black pepper spice and uh, that's pretty much it right now. Normal startup as it's heating up. It'll smooth out here shortly and we'll get into some flavors. It's Tobo Trail. Alright guys. Tobo Trail back with a update on the Prince Auto. About 
inch and a half, two inches down. I've already ashed it once. Mm. Yep, she went out on me. I was uh, working the throttles on my boat at the time, so maybe my fault. I don't think I put it down long enough really to give it that excuse to go out, but but you know, so I'm gonna give it that one though. It was it didn't go out all the all the way. Went out where you know it was just you're having to draw real hard, and I I don't like puffing my cigars back a light. I find it makes them bitter. Uh, when a cigar begins to go out on me, if I can't hit the edge of the wrapper, can't get this stupid thing to focus. If I can't, uh, if I can't uh, zap it around the edge of the wrapper, you know, just slowly around the edge, I, uh, I'll put it down. I'll let it go completely out. Then I'll brush all the ash off, and then I'll try again. I find it a uh, you know, you, do, you have very little change in flavor if you do it that way, whereas if you try to relight it when it's half lit and it's still hot, it, you, you run the risk of ruining the entire stick. Now I got her going again. It's putting off a lot of good smoke. Still just getting a lot of pepper. A little tiny bit of sweetness. I'll describe it like as a more like a prune raisin type sweetness so I, I tend to get that from these and uh, uh, a nice pepper a little aggressive pepper but it's a uh, it is nice it is good I'm, I am enjoying it and uh, I'll uh, get down there a little close to the band and give you an update or whenever I note any changes right, Tobo trail back just above the band point on the uh, Alec Bradley uh, Prince Auto uh, Unexpected turn. I didn't wasn't expecting a fairly ferocious uh, nicotine buzz. Uh, construction so far has been been uh, been good. Uh, the burn is wonky. I've been correcting it constantly, uh, but uh, yeah, I wasn't really expecting a nicotine buzz. I, I smoke fairly uh, full-bodied cigars. And uh, this one's kicking pretty hard, and it's still above the band point. So if it gets a whole lot stronger, I may have to put put this one down, which I haven't had to do since uh, I smoked uh, La Flor Dominica, La Flor, La Flor Dominicana Double Lajero Digger was the last cigar I couldn't finish all the way, and I got it all the way, you know, way down, and that's the strongest cigar I know of. Well, that one and the uh, Viaje. Uh, Weapons of Mass Destruction, the Skull and Bones, a little red one. That one, that's an evil little cigar. That thing is strong as a bull. But uh, might do a review on one of them if I can get my hands on another one. But a really tough cigar, though. It's a good tasting, but super strong. Uh, but right now, I figured I'd throw that in. Flavor profile is mellowed out. Spice has kind of dropped off. Um, just a nice, smooth tobacco right now. I'll check back here in a little bit uh, with the uh, with the finish. So smoke on the water. Yeah, Tobo trail back with the uh, Prince Auto. Let me say I had to switch to a Sun Drop. I normally drink diet drinks. This has sugar in it. So I've stated in some of my other videos. If you guys don't know, if you ever get a nicotine uh, buzz from a cigar that's too strong, start feeling woozy. Uh, grab you a uh, soda or something that has uh, sugar in it, sweet tea, anything like that. It helps uh, helps your liver metabolize nicotine, and uh, you know you drink about half a bottle of it, and you know third of the bottle, half a bottle. When you get a couple good sips down, it starts to alleviate it. Cigar's been uh, real good. Hadn't had very many more burn issues. Everything's going great. So that's pretty much it for the uh, Alec Bradley Prensado. And this is a thumbs up. You know, pretty good. Not fantastic. Uh, I still like the Grand Toros better. They taste better. This is a uh, Tobo Trail. Smoke on the water.